what is going on my divine masculine that's right y'all heard me right i am doing daily bread for the divine masculine today i don't know what type of wild head and got up in my ass well i said you know what <clears throat> you know what you know what it was I've been seeing a lot more male commenters in my videos um, and I've realized like you know when I'm doing my readings and stuff like that I don't need to like forget the man I need to make sure that I cater to the men sometimes so you know this is some divine masculine daily bread for March the 5th and 6th which is tomorrow Tuesday and Wednesday so shout out to all my men that's been in the comment section big up to you big 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 up to you big shout out to y'all and um i just want to say though don't think that our men don't be going through things don't think that our men don't want growth don't think that our men don't want change ladies they are fighting with us they are fighting to make things better and they just want happiness and they just want to feel emotional freedom and abundance as well so let's not forget that our men are also in need as well so we have to you know make sure that we give them guidance so shout out to everyone who's been liking and subscribing my videos if there was anyone that would like to book a personal and private reading you can do so by clicking that about tab all right there's a hyperlink at the bottom that says scorpio reds tarot as simply book me again in Scorpion Reds Tarot as simply book me if this video resonates with you and if you would like to give a love donation you can do so by clicking that PayPal link in the description and thank you so much thank you so very much um, and big out to everyone that's been showing love light and support so let's get into the reading okay Dear Lord, thank you so much for bringing us here today. Thank you for covering us in the glory. Thank you for waking us up feeling reassured. Thank you for reinventing ourselves. Thank you for opening our arms graciously and accepting the change and new beginnings and abundance. Please give the Divine Masculine Daily Bread for March the 5th and the 6th. Thank you again for all the guidance in the past, present, and future. We are coming here today for our strong men looking for change, looking to make things better, looking to perfect the things that need perfection. And, you know, coming to us humbly, coming to the God, coming to God humbly on this day and just asking God to help us through change and just thanking us for all of the progress that we've made thus far. Father God, please give the Divine Masculine guidance for March the 5th and the 6th. Thank you again for all of the blessings and the lessons in the past, present, and future. All right, let's get into this. All right, so you know how I do. This is the spread that I've been doing. I've just been doing one off the top and one off the bottom for everyone. So, yep, yep, yep. Please give me guidance for the Divine Masculine. Fifth and Six. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh. Man, there's a lot of good music out there. I really wish, you know, would YouTube really need to, like, stop it with this dumb, stupid stuff with these copyright infringement and music? Like, we are helping... <laughs> When I play my music in the back, it is helping people that did not know anything about these artists. You know what I'm saying? Get their music out there. So I don't know why they won't let us, you know, kind of like vibe out and just play what we want to play in the background. Because, shot, I got some new tunes I'm trying to, you know, hip y'all on to. But I just got to play it real lightly in the background. You know? Father God, please get the Divine Masculine. Guidance for the fifth and sixth. Thank you so much. Ooh. Okay, the Ten of Pentacles. Come on now. Alright, so, so far what we got on the table. So for... Tomorrow, Tuesday, we got comfort and then the seven of pentacles in reverse. Let's see what we're getting in love. 
I think what I'm going to start doing, you guys, I think I'm going to start doing a pre-shuffle. Because doing all of the shuffling, it takes up a lot of time in the videos. You know what I'm saying? It really does take up a lot of time in the videos, you guys. And I do not like, you know, having to do that all the time, you know? But at the same time, I know when I watch readers, if I don't see them shuffle, I be feeling some type of way. Because I'm like, you could have pre-set up that deck, you know? And you know, you always be hearing these readers talking all this trash about people stole my stuff, people stole my spread, people stole my this, people stole my... And you know, I've, I've never... Me personally, I don't be checking for other readers like that to be... Like if I go watch them, I watch them because I love them and I support. I don't be going to check for them to see if someone's stealing my content, my spread, how I do anything like... I really don't be checking for that and stuff like that. But I know for sure that there's been people that have said it and I believe them that um you know people have stolen their spreads and um, and things of that nature and they're like you know um when you see people that have their 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 um they don't shuffle their decks. They already have two shuffled decks and things like that. They're like, uh-uh, don't trust that. Because that person, is listening to my uh, readings. And then they go and um, take everything that you say for them And they set up the deck. I'm like, God dang, I ain't know people are doing all that stuff. That is mad crazy. That's why I'm like, I try to make sure that y'all see me shuffling. So that y'all don't know nobody be like, oh, she fake. Last deck, y'all. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what we got. Okay, so in regards to tomorrow, the fifth, we got comfort. We got the Seven of Pentacles in reverse. We got Contemplation in reverse. We have the Two of Wands. We have the World card. We have the Wheel of Fortune card in the upright. And then we also have Children in the reverse. All right, so for Wednesday, we got Victory in the reverse. I wonder why you're not feeling victorious when you most definitely got a Ten of Cups coming. Come on now. The Fall reverse. Temperance, the door to value in reverse, the three of pentacles in reverse, and keeping an open mind. So, let's get into the energies for tomorrow, you guys, shall we? Alright, so, off the bat, I feel like the Divine Masculine... He's in a place where he's most definitely feeling comfortable. It says, I am with you in your time of need, and I'm helping your heart to heal. So this is basically letting me know that Divine Masculine is getting spiritual guidance while he's going through a healing heart. I definitely feel like he's looking for some type of comfort and some type of um, just reassurance that things are going to be okay because he realizes that Whatever has been going on, whatever relationship it was that he was trying to work on or have it be, maybe he's been trying to put his energy towards, you know, something that was a financial investment. Maybe he um, was trying to start his own business or he was trying to do some type of job searching or something like that. But it looks like he's given up. It looks like he's given up. He's not giving any more contemplation or working towards that anymore. Right now he's looking for comfort. He's looking for healing. And he realized the more and more that he tries to work on this situation and contemplate about the possibilities of these, whatever this is that it is that he's desiring going in his way, it's making it harder and harder for him to heal. And he doesn't think that it's, you know, beneficial for him to continue working on trying to make something better and contemplating a you know a better change it doesn't he just doesn't see he doesn't see it working out for him 
He doesn't see it working out for him. And he just wants to be comfortable right now. I feel like the Divine Feminine. I'm sorry. Divine Masculine has been in his head a lot about the Divine Feminine. And the lack of the communication here. Because as you can see. Um, it's not a situation where he's being allowed to work on anything. Do you understand what I'm saying? I don't think that he was working on it in the beginning. And I believe that now that he wants to work on things. And that he's available to even put the time and the work in. It's not even an option on the table. So, you know. There's no point in him standing up contemplating about this anymore. It's time to move on and find some passions elsewhere. I believe, you know, he's finally realizing, you know. I got my whole world in front of me. I got my whole world in front of me. I definitely think that he currently has a passionate option. I feel like he's finally, um, you know, paying attention to what's in front of him right now. Most definitely. Or if he doesn't have someone that he's dating right now, I believe that he is, you know, taking, he's taking a hold of his world and he is most definitely trying to drive his passion in a new direction. He wants his world to go in a, he just wants his world to just brighten up. I feel like right now his world is dark. His world is dark. And he's been really looking for a resurgence. And he's been looking for a regeneration and just vibrance in his life. It's just been really dark and heavy. You know, his world has been, I mean, it's, it's as the world turns type of shit. Like a soap opera. Like it's legitimately been a soap opera. And he's standing right out there and he's looking at this brand new world that he can offer to himself and that's what he's contemplating about now it's just like i can't i can't focus on this no more i can't focus on this no more now when i got other passionate options he has other passionate options and i believe he's finally paying attention to the world that is right in front of him because the divine masculine realizes you know once I think about life and how important my life is in creation and growing and evolution, I understand that I am the master. I am the creator of my environment. And if I want my environment to change, if I want to come out of this darkness, I have to create that change. I have to manifest it. I have to will this change into the universe. I have to ask for it. But not only do I have to ask for it, I have to work hard for it. In the Divine Masculine, he's finally figuring this out. And um, mm -hmm. things are starting to change for the better. But I definitely feel like throughout this time that he has been going through this. Trying to make things better. I feel like while he's been going through all of this stuff in love and just trying to get a grasp on his life again. I feel like his children have been affected in this situation. And I want the bomb masculine to focus a little bit more on his children. And maybe putting more energy and effort into being with your children. That can probably give you that healing that your heart is really looking for, you know. And it won't and it won't put you in a space where you're constantly contemplating about the past and you know what the future may hold and things like that. You tried to work things out. It didn't work. You know you're looking for healing, you're looking for comfort. What better place could it be than with your kids? And I don't think that you've been spending a lot of time with your kids. You need to put your focus back on your kids, Divine Masculine. They need to be your world. And that's what you need to be changing for. For them, not for nothing else. For them. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, so this is what I'm going to, so I feel like the Divine Masculine, um, like I said, he hasn't really been feeling very victorious and um, he hasn't been very comfortable as of the lately, like he's finally in his healing process where he is, you know, finally getting help from the gods and, you know, from the universe in his healing. And just right now, he doesn't feel victorious because I really do feel like he wanted the fortune of getting his family back. But what I'm going to tell you is, is and, and, and I see a child in a companion. I feel like the Divine Masculine could have just had a baby. He could have just had a baby with a new companion. I definitely feel that. 
Why am I feeling like that? Why is why would he not feel victorious about that? I feel like the divine masculine, he's not feeling victorious right now. Because I feel like honestly that he had a child with someone who was just a companion. I feel like this is someone that he met last fall that he probably regrets meeting. Because this, this fall is in the reverse and his victory is in the reverse. But he has a ten of pentacles. He has a solid new family. He has a solid new family here. Do you understand what I'm saying? He has a brand new family. I really do feel like the Divine Masculine either is expecting the baby or either just had a baby with someone that was just a companion to him. And he does not feel victorious about it. It's just someone that he met last fall. And I feel like this is something that he might be regretting. Because right now he's feeling like he's needing to have a refill of uh, faith, balance, and hope. He's looking for stuff because he felt like he, he wasn't valuing himself. And he got himself mixed up in a situation where he got himself mixed up with someone at work. I really do feel like he got himself mixed up with someone at work. Because this is the three of pentacles. This is someone you needed to work with, working together. You know what I'm saying? But at this point in time, I don't see them working together very much. I see this person being alone. Holding this brick, like trying to put something together by itself almost. And I feel like this person felt like when they got in this situation that they weren't valuing themselves. Now, something <laughs> that should have been worked out amongst two or three people. This might have been a third party situation. This might have been a third party situation that um, Divine Masculine got into at work. He feels like he did. He wasn't. He got into a situation where he was undervaluing himself, and maybe he doesn't value this relationship as much. And I could see him wanting to work alone. I could definitely see him wanting to work alone. But this was a situation where, at one point in time, he was working with somebody to build this foundation. And you know, the Three of Pentacles can most definitely depict. A third party situation. So that's basically saying. You were called to the table. To bring what you had to the table. To build something. And while you're standing and being left alone. This person that called you. Was really behind your back working with somebody else. Do you see what I'm saying? So this could possibly be what's going on. In the Divine Masculine's um, energy as well. Um, maybe he's realizing that the person. That he got himself mixed up with. Um isn't someone of high quality and high value because maybe this person is working with something else or working with someone else behind his back and he doesn't even know it. And right now he's keeping an open mind elsewhere in love. Because I'm just like, why would the divine masculine, and I've never done this before, but I feel like I slightly want to dig deep into... This because it's like, why would you not feel victorious about a solid and should be happy and healthy um, home environment? You should be happy about this. And somebody they met last fall. They're trying to find balance. They don't value the situation. They don't want to work on this anymore. They're keeping an open mind elsewhere in love. Why? I'm sorry, y'all. Like, I'm so nosy. I'm so nosy. Spirit, please give me some additional guidance in regards to this break. Because I didn't not. I was not planning on doing this. I don't know why. Please clarify. Please clarify this ten. Clarify this ten of um pentacles. This is something that he thought was valuable to him. He's feeling off balance. Balancing of the karmic still. Trying to have patience in the situation. 
fresh start in reverse. This person is blocking your fresh start and your big dreams. Damn, Divine Masculine, really? That's how you feel about this situation? That's fucked up, muff. That's major fucked up. Solitude. Bumble clots. I'm reloading. Bitch. So the divine. I told you I knew that this. I was not tripping, bro. The divine masculine is not happy about this baby, bro. Like the divine masculine just found out that whoever he's currently living with, that this broad is pregnant. And he does not feel victorious about this shit. He do not feel happy about this shit. This is somebody that he regrets meeting last fall. And right now he is praying to the heavens to give him balance and to give him patience. Because he does not hold value in this in this situation he does not want to work on the situation with this person and he wants to go elsewhere this situation is not a balanced relationship and i do not feel like he's happy about this relation i mean about this baby and he's trying to have patience because i really do feel like he's trying to figure out he's trying to wait to see what this person is going to do about this situation he does not want to start something brand new with this person he He's not trying to grow in that way with this person. If this person has this baby, this is going to block his fresh start. He feels like this, if this person has this... He's trying to be patient to see if this person is going to have this baby or not. Because this situation is going to block his, breast, his fresh start and his big dreams. Whatever he has in his mind as his big dreams does not involve this woman and this baby. He wants to be so he wants to be completely solitude. He don't want to be around this situation. Don't want to be around this person at all. That's dumbass crazy, bro. That's dumbass crazy. All right, so listen, I was nosy enough because we're not about to make this no hour long video. Let's put all of this stuff together, you guys. Let's put all of this stuff together. Mm mm mm. That's just. Yo, I feel this, like, this eerie, sick feeling in my stomach, bro. Like, I feel like that's how he feels. Like, he got a lot of anxiety going in him right now, bro. Like, my anxiety is running up in my ass right now. God damn. Anyway, this person, <laughs> he has been asking God to help him in his time of need. And I feel like his heart is broken because he lost his love and he's in this situation where he did not plan on this happen. And he does not feel victorious in this situation. And it's like I'm dealing with a broken heart and I'm dealing with a situation where I feel like I'm going to be defeated. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't feel like they intentionally meant to put themselves in this situation. I feel like they went in this situation looking for comfort. You know, and we went in this situation looking for someone to comfort them from healing their broken heart because of the lack of victory in the situation with the divine feminine only to end up in a less victorious situation because, oh my gosh, they're in a situation with someone that they're not willing to put the work in to make the, you know, relationship grow to the heights that it needs to. This is not somebody that... He values that much. This is not someone that he values. This is not someone that he was ever willing to put that much work in with like that. And now he's stuck with a baby. He's stuck with a family. With someone that he doesn't even want to work on a relationship with. He doesn't want to put the work in. And he's stuck with this baby. Brody. <laughs> And now I'm understanding this contemplation. Divine Masculine has been contemplating, contemplating. What the fuck made me even talk to you last fall? I don't even think that they even know. I don't even think that they know how they got themselves in this situation. And it's like they're done contemplating about this situation. I don't feel like they want to be in this situation. And I feel like they're being patient trying to figure out if this person is really about to have this baby or not. And I really think that this girl is. And it's, he's at a point where it's like, look, I whatever passion was sizzling there, okay, he's setting up other options okay 
whatever passion was there with this person in the past, he is setting up options to make other moves. Do you understand what I'm saying? So his passion is lying elsewhere. It is not in this situation. And he's trying to find balance and he's just like hoping and praying and relying on his faith right now to get him out of this situation. And he's like looking for an exit plan, you guys. Do you hear me? Divine Masculine is thinking about his world right now. And he's thinking about the fact that he was undervaluing himself by his actions and his behavior, number one, because he lost his Divine Feminine. So he's been mourning that relationship. And not only that, he's been dealing with all of these women that don't really carry no substance and no value. And now you don't allow these people in your world in his glim. You know, it's glim. You don't like really mix yourself up in quite a goddamn pickle. Stop allowing people that don't really hold any value in your life. Stop just fucking anybody. Because you wouldn't have got yourself in this situation. You wouldn't have got yourself in this situation. All right, now, Divine Masking is looking for the world of fortune to turn in his favor, which it is. Which it is. Um... But this is just him basically saying he, he's not looking to, he's not looking forward to planning nothing with this person. He's not looking forward to working. Uh, he's not looking forward to working with nothing with this person. Like he's manifesting a new future. You know, this is the uncle, whatever that thing is called. That's like manifesting new life. And he's the magician. And he's very powerful and he can wield his way. And he, can, he knows how to get the universe to help him and that's what he's been doing he's like help me I don't want to work on this situation you know I want to be by myself by myself I don't want to work on this situation anymore if the only thing that I had to do is bring something to the table myself and work so I feel like the divine masculine is willing to work on his own to create his own foundation he like look I'm bringing my own shit to the table now I like if this with this was this was scared straight God scared him straight I, yeah this was a scared straight moment do you understand what I'm saying this person came in and said I'm pregnant he said oh what oh I don't want to work on this no more I'm ready to manifest greatness I'm good I'm good <laughs> Yes, the children in reverse. Oh my God, I forgot that the children in reverse was up here the whole time. Oh my God. Children are negatively impacting the divine masculine's life and he does not, he has not been spending time with his children or does not want to spend time or does not want to be a father to this child. And he's keeping an open mind elsewhere in love, y'all. Oh my fucking gosh. Y'all, I saw, I don't know why I had this wild hair up my ass to do this today, bro. I was not expecting that mo. Oh my god, bro. Wow. He's trying to seek solitude from the karmic. He realized he got himself in a karmic situation. He's trying to seek solitude because this person is blocking his big dreams, honey. Ain't going to be no fresh start no more, baby. He just need to be patient and see if this girl is actually about to go get this abortion or not. Because he feels is absolutely the fuck out of balance. And this situation has spiraled out of fucking control. Good golly, Miss Molly. I holla at y'all. <laughs> I'm going to see y'all tomorrow because we is most definitely about to get a recording to find out what the hell is going on with this on Thursday and Friday. I will see y'all because we nosy. I'll be back. If this video resonated, if this video gave you some insight in regards to your situation, if you, especially if you were a man and you were trying to figure out if the girl that you're currently dating, if she's pregnant or not, she is most definitely pregnant. And it does not seem like you were too excited about it. So, I'm going to pray for y'all. Um, love and light. I'll see y'all in a few days. Peace.